tail, scratch her back, point and shoot and shoot it fast. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. I don't wanna be your underground hero. Hi everyone. Um, so this blog is about doing ketamine, microdosing ketamine. Um, Fuck, this is hard. Hello, my name is Lisa D'Amato and I'm about to tell you about my ketamine infusion treatments. Um, I have a friend named Warren Gumpel and also a friend named Zappy that are on a whole crusade to help save the human mind and humanity through cleaning out our brains. Um, basically taking your brain to the gym and clearing those neural pathways so that we can enjoy our lives, which the whole time that we do it, we we do it through the processing of our brain, which is the conditioning of the way that your life has rolled out for you. Um, everyone has trauma. Everyone has hangups. We all have things that are holding us back in our life. And um, I did, I do, you know? I come from severe trauma and PTSD and um, forms of addiction. Mostly they spark in ways when I'm really battling in my life, but I am, um, I've always been one to like, I'm really driven. Um, the majority of the time I'm so driven that I want to drive over myself. Uh, but that being said, my friend Warren, who struggled with so many like depression and addiction himself, the only thing that worked for him was, um, ketamine infusion treatments. And he was on a journey to find some type of savior, um, for years and couldn't find anything, nothing. To know that ketamine too, I know everyone thinks it's like, you know, the horse tranquilizer, but no, before, before that, I mean, they've known since the sixties of its healing properties to the human brain and the condition. Um, you know, we like to, it's propaganda. Okay. So <laughs> our whole world is based upon propaganda, the pharmaceutical company, the government, lobbyists, um, all of that. So let's say that you are a soldier and you come back from war. Your country who from the time you were a teenager, 18 years old, taught you how to kill people. And then you come back with so much trauma from you killing people and watching people getting killed. And you have PTSD and you, you can't get back to life. And they put you on antidepressants, but then, which then take like, it takes, it makes you numb. It, it, it like all your empathy is just faded away. And then there's like some massive shooting from this, this kid, you know? And it's like, wow, you, you numbed the shit out of him through pharmaceuticals when you could have given him ketamine and actually built brain cells, scientifically proven building brain cells to clean out the, those neural pathways of all that trauma and like fear and neglect and pain, you know? I think we can all agree that we, we live our whole life between our ears, right? And then on top of that, we can all agree, I don't care where you live on this planet, that life is really short. So if you want to go get a brand new car, you know, you go to a car dealership if that's where you want you. That's where you'll you'll find out everything about that car. If you want your nails done, you go to a nail technician in life, right? But we aren't like trying to give our brain a tune up. Doesn't that seem silly? Like to me, like once Warren told me about this, it's like that seems really silly. You know, um, I was like, heck yeah, I'm in. He knew that I came from all of this trauma as a young child, all of them. You know, all the abuses. Uh, mis uh, mental, physical, sexual. My mom also had a severe eating disorder. So, um, you know what that does to your brain when you're, you know, pans of throw up on the coffee table every day. Oh, don't get me started. Um, so 
let me tell you my experience and then hopefully this helps you understand the process of ketamine and you know it's through hallucinogenics dr drew he's like no lisa i went to celeb rehab so putting that out there as well um i have had major problems with alcohol within my life in periods and then also you know if you've had a lot of trauma you're you're blueprinted to like go down these paths of like numbing yourself and um partying if you will um and I never went to the after after party. Okay. I only went to the after party. Um, but I think just in general, I've always been really driven and I've had multiple jobs. So I'm lucky that I didn't go through like a darker, darker path, you know? Um, okay. So anyway, Warren comes up to me. He's like, Lisa, he lives in New York at the time. I think it's like, Lisa, I'm coming to LA. I'm coming to see you. I need to show you something. I'm like, what? I haven't seen him in years, you know? Um, but basically he showed me uh, this amazing documentary that he's a part of along with Zappi. And it's how ketamine is, is like saving people's lives. Um, Lamar Odom is a big example of that. Uh, you know, had severe nerve damage, was told he was never gonna play basketball ever again. The nerve damage is completely gone. Um, he's engaged. He was on Dancing with the Stars. Uh, just really thriving and it's because when you do ketamine you you build brain cells and you push through these these neural pathways in your brain to start opening up and knocking down the way you've conditioned your thinking right which is why I think it saves a lot it helps with addiction and um, trauma PTSD all of that so I'm going to give you my my experience that you can correlate like next to each other and this is real i'm telling you a real experience um, i'm going to give you the cliff notes of an experience of my childhood so that you can compare the ketamine experience um in elementary school i would walk home from school and i had to pass the middle was this park and wildwood thousand oaks it was at the fort in wildwood if anybody knows um I would walk to the park and then I would just lay in the, in the grass right there. And it was just, I would probably be there for about 20 minutes and I would literally just mentally prepare myself for walking into the front door of my house. Every single day that was my life as a child because I was scared to death. I didn't know if I was gonna get molested, if I was gonna get kicked in the stomach, dragged by my hair, um, you know, the list goes on. So I would just lay in the grass and I'd feel the grass I'd smell the grass I could I could see the birds soaring in the sky like I am right now and um the wind in the grass and what that smelled like and ketamine just put me right there right there um I had to go in real life I had to walk down this really dark creek and then come back up a bunch of stairs and on the other side was um where my house was so that park was a really peaceful place in my life growing up, but it was also really scary. Um, so for ketamine to like bring me there was like, oh, okay, look, my brain's just gonna take me right there. We're gonna just knock it out. Um, all of a sudden in the ketamine treatment, this mud, this dark like lava, if you will, starts pulling me from the grass and takes me down and it's just taking me down somewhere really dark, like a tunnel, but I know where it's taking me. It's taking me down the creek. And it's really dark because I'm scared. I'm scared. My little girl fear, I'm scared. Um, and then it just starts spiraling, you know? I'm just spiraling in a circle and it's like mud or like tar. And then it just gets really big and I can hear like a crowd, like a stadium of people. And they like start doing the wave. We're talking like thousands of people. And I'm, do I'm part of the wave of everyone doing a wave in a stadium. And then it slowly turns into slow motion and everyone's like projectile vomiting in the wave in a stadium. I know that sounds really gross, but this is like what really happened. And I think it turned into like my mom's throw up and it felt, it, it, I know it sounds really gross, but it felt like the whole community of like our souls, of like our planet, like the vibrations of human nature and kindness. Like we're all like projecting this really horrible feeling 
in me that I've been carrying around my whole life. And it doesn't, I've pushed through my life and I've gotten to really excellent places because I work really hard on myself. But at the same time, like that was still there, you know, that's in me. That's, and I'm pushing through it and it actually felt really beautiful and cleansing. And uh, that was one out of 20 that I had maybe in that one session. I've done about six, five or six. So I'm there. Um, you know, I drank a bottle of wine every night and I had my reasons. I have two little boys. I have two businesses. Like life is hard. I take care of my dad. We all do it. We all have our reasons. If it's not that, then it's something else. Right. And, uh, I don't do that anymore. I just don't. Um, I have some wine on the weekends for sure. Like I casually, um, and I also smoked American spirits one or two a night. And that was my, like, my time, you know? Like, everybody knew that, like, when I did that, that means that everyone has to leave me alone. And I think I use that as an excuse as well to smoke my kale cigarettes. Um, and I don't do that anymore. Um, I really feel like it's opened up my mind to, like, not have any, like, preconceived notions about things. Like, I think about everything much deeper. I feel like all my thoughts are, like, super authentic. I don't question myself ever I know I'm I was confident anyways but like I feel like I've just my brain has gone to the next level and it feels exceptional like I'm thriving you know and I'm really happy and I don't feel like I'm controlled by society or doing things by anybody else's standards except just being who I'm supposed to be and if sharing my experience will help other people try to be them, their best selves. I mean, ultimately we all want the same thing. I really do believe now that we really are just like vibrations of, and we all affect each other. And if we can all kind of just, I don't know, save between our ears so that all together we can like be better people to ourselves and to each other. Like, why wouldn't you want to do that? Like make your life the best it could be like why wouldn't you do that <laughs> i know that was weird <laughs> thanks guys